Hey yo, what's up YouTube? Alex Vegas Reptiles here with another video. Um, I have literally uh, remade this video like three times. Um, it's extremely difficult for me. Um, and it, if I sound kind of drone or, you know, um, I've already cried so much, so if I sound kind of numb to everything, that's why, like, literally, like, one minute I'm okay, next minute I'm not, the next minute I'm, like, bawling my eyes out, next minute I'm angry, like, <sighs> I said I wasn't going to do another my vibe in MIA speech, but you guys know every time I kind of start to get the channel back on track or plan to get it back on track, something happens and it's been sort of one thing after another this summer, you know, um, we got the puppy, I kind of had my hands full with her, but that's okay because, you know, that's a fun thing, that's a happy thing, you know, um, about a month after we got her, we found out Simba has cancer and um, it is reached terminal at this point. Um, we're sort of letting everybody uh, say their goodbyes to him first, let him see all his favorite people before we let him go. Um, I also just lost my favorite aunt or one of my favorite aunts. I have two. Um, just not even a month ago, I was sick as a dog for almost the entire week of the funeral. Um, and I, I don't want to go into detail because family privacy and everything, but the funeral was a long, long um, tryout process. Um, And it's just sort of like, you know, that I've had this traumatic passing in my family and one of the few things that truly makes me happy is my animals. And now I'm losing one of them too. And really with the, I love every animal in this house, but cats, and Willow is it's a whole nother level. I mean, it's like my kids. I got told, for those of you who are new to the channel, I got told when I was 12 years old, I'd never have kids because of my medical issues. So I know it's different when you have like an actual kid, but if you've not had an actual kid, I mean, that, that is your kids, you know? I mean, you, you put everything into them. They, you can't put into a kid because you don't have one. And hi, hi, Miss Willow. Yes, I will, I will introduce you in a minute. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I guess somebody wants to be introduced now. So, you all finally get to meet Willow. This is Miss Willow. She is a lab golden retriever mix. We got her at three months old. She is now going on eight months old at the end of this month on the 25th. Lay down. Oh shit. Hi. Um. Hi. Yes. Hi. And people, you know, ask me why I surround myself with so many animals or how can you live in a zoo like that, you know? How can you live with all those snakes and and every day, how, how do you live like that? And I'm just like, you know, I've struggled with my mental health. I've struggled with my mental health for, ever since I was a kid, ever since I was 10, 11 years old. And really, kind of a little bit before that, I just was too young to really understand 
what was going on and animals are one of the few things that you know truly truly made me happy and truly pulled me out of that you know um i've talked about it on the channel you know i went through some traumatic things as a kid you know and i have a lot of ptsd problems from it yes yes what is it what is it and my animals are just sort of one of the things that helps. Yes, hi. You know, um, <laughs> I'm trying to knock off my glasses again. Um, I don't even know what to say. You know? I mean, it. I am hoping the fall and winter is going to be better. Um, historically, <laughs> okay, all right, ma'am. Um, historically, summer's always been pretty bad for me, and things kind of start getting a little better for me around fall, and then, um, you know, it, I then I just seem to get really super busy, and uh, up until after Christmas, and then boom, it. My birthday is right around the corner and like my, my luck kind of picks back up around that time. But um, just sort of really struggling with my faith at the moment. Um, you guys all know that, you know, that I, I, I've always been pretty strong in my faith. You know, I, near death experience as a kid, that, that's what made a believer out of me. and. I have confidence God will pull me through this. Um, I don't understand why I'm going through all this, and why my family's going through all this. More importantly, um, you know, going through everything that they're going through. Um, and I'm struggling, y'all. I'm struggling. Um, making this video because I kind of want to be transparent with you all, you know, and everything. And I was planning for the next video to be like a super happy go lucky, hey, here's the new puppy kind of, kind of video. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, I am going to, in my next video, I'm going to show you some of my favorite treats for her. Um, and also her favorite, you know, taste approved, you know, but, um, mom approved too, <laughs> and, um, I'm going to show you some of her favorite toys, etc., and give you a few of my tips that friends have shared with me and that I have learned over the past five months or so, um, since getting Willow. And this is a new experience for me. I always grew up with little dogs. You know, um, I had a couple family members with bigger dogs. Like, my cousin had a Mastiff. My dad had an Australian Shepherd Chow Chow mix. It was more, it was more medium size. It was more the size of an Aussie rather than a Chow. But, um, so this is sort of me getting out of my comfort zone dog-wise. But, anyway, um, I plan on doing a whole hey, um, this is my favorite places to shop with, you know, shop for her. This is, um, my favorite treats for her, favorite toys, etc. And, um, actually, one of my best friends, um, adopted, it's cool, honey, let me mean for him, sorry, <laughs> um, adopted Willow's two brothers. So, that's like one of my glasses. Anyway, um, so um, we'll be doing a, I'll pro we'll be doing a shopping trip for them for Halloween and for Christmas. So expect a couple of uh, shop with me type videos in the future. Um, the exciting thing I did not want to speak on because I didn't want to jinx it 
was yet another house we were trying to get but in, and we actually got approved but it was going to be too much a month so um i guess if the cards are right come spring try try again um but honestly i'm so mentally exhausted at this point that but you want out oh, hold on somebody wanted their daddy anyway um i'm so mentally exhausted by this point i'm like sort of to the point of you know what let's just stay here fix this up you know get it looking pretty again like it was when we moved in you know like you know hey dustin and the cats willow they're my reason you know what I'm not quite there with Willow, like I, you know, where I am with the cats with her just yet, but that's just because I just got her, but I know I'll be there, and I love her, you know, I love her to death already, um, but anyway, Dustin, the cats, Willow, they're my reason, and everything and the whole reason I wanted to move was for them, not for me, for them. And for all these guys too. So everybody has you know, nicer enclosures, you know, more space, you know, like, I would love to have a really, really, really nice setup where you just walk in and you're just like, you know, and not even so much for the aesthetic. I mean, although that is nice, but open the door, spray, open the door, spray, open the door, spray, feed. Instead of having to stack, restack, you know, it just makes everything a lot, makes everything go a lot faster so I can actually spend more time enjoying my animals and letting them be out for a few minutes, crawling on me, whatever, you know. Um, and it's like, now that I, now that we're losing Simba, um, I've had some more, you know, we've had some more setbacks trying to have a kid. Um, so it's just kind of like, well, what's the point in even getting a bigger place now? You know, I mean, I mean yes, I still have Dustin, I still have the girls, I still have everybody else, you know. Um, I don't know. Um, my mind's just sort of all over the place at the moment, and I feel like this video sort of reflects that, but, um, prayers, please, y'all, um, for my family, especially my cousins losing their mom, you know, and I feel like I'm taken away from them because that's definitely the worst tragedy of the summer. I, I love my aunt, and uh, I spent a lot of time with her when I was really little before she had her girls, you know, before my cousins were born. Um, I spent a lot of time with her right after they were born, um, helping her, because, you know, they, they had just moved, and the two of them, they're, they're Irish twins. They're very, very, very close together, so my aunt kind of had her hands full. Um, I have a, a lot of fond memories of of that time of when she used to live in the little house behind us and I used to just be able to walk across my backyard and go to her house or you know 
hanging out and helping out with the girls later on. But, uh, please, y'all, prayers, please and thank you. Um, I promise next video we'll be back to your regular scheduled content. Um, if you're not following me on Insta already, follow me on there. I'm on Insta and Snap way more than I am on here lately, so you'll be more up to date. But till then, like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell, and I'll see you next time.